Well, we're very excited about what God has done in the year 2016 through the 40 Days of Love. It's amazing to, to think that some 40 to 60,000 people across the state of Florida have partnered together to pray, care, and share the gospel with those in their sphere of influence. Already we've been getting reports from different areas around the state of salvations taking place, of believers being stirred to share their faith with a renewed boldness. We've seen family members coming to Christ. We've heard of workplace the testimonies of people being bold to share their faith where they hadn't been before. Uh, we've heard of the gospel going into prisons. We've heard of it happening in restaurants and gas stations and just random places, people just feeling led of the Lord to share their faith. One of the things about the 40 Days of Love that we did is we put together uh, an evangelistic card. Those little cards being used to then open the door to share the gospel with people and literally just today I watched as somebody at the airport here in Orlando accepted Christ right there in the airport as a result of hearing the gospel. One of the things that we are dreaming about in the year 2017 is to see the 40 days of love expand way beyond the state of Florida. That God's going to begin to take it all over the U.S and even to other nations. Already, we have reports of nations such as Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, South Africa, Albania, Dominican Republic, saying that they either participated in this year's 40 Days of Love or that they're going to plan to do one in the upcoming year. We had a missionary from Albania that was here in the state of Florida during the 40 Days of Love. When we return to Albania, it's on my heart to you know, there are churches, you know, they're doing, you know, evangelism, there's people that are sharing the gospel of Christ. But what I have been inspired and just kind of the vision I see for the nation is an entire city, the capital city, Tirana, one third of the nation lives in the capital city. There's at least 60, 70 churches there. But if we would all come together in a concentrated period of time, like the 40 days of love here, and as I have thought and been thinking about, what would that look like in Albania? And just beginning, for instance, in the capital city, but spreading throughout the whole nation, um, the, the change it could bring to the environment. In, in Albania, in the capital city of every believer, just going out and just praying for their, their community, praying for their neighbors, the names of the people that the Lord has laid on their hearts, caring with them in some way, just showing them love of Christ seeing a need and just fulfilling that need I and mean, even sacrificially and just caring and just saying Jesus loves you. Um, the vision I've been getting and just that the urgency in my heart has been we need to be practicing that even more in Albania and if the whole body of Christ comes together and just walks that kind of lifestyle what won't be able to happen through the power of the Holy Spirit. We have learned that in the nation of Albania in January of 2017, they're already planning a nationwide 40 days of love there. They've already got the, the graphics made up in Albania, they are already got the Facebook page and everything is moving forward and they're beginning to share it in different places. This all came from a small group of people in the Central Florida area that began to link arms together and say, what would God have us do together that we couldn't do apart. So together, we are making a difference, not only here in the state of Florida, but around the nations.